Julie, have you ever wondered what goes into getting Plymouth Plantation ready for the season? Well, considering it, it's an outside museum and um, we've had an incredibly bad winter as far as snow goes, I imagine they have an awful lot of yard work to do. Really big rakes. <laughs> really like, big rakes. Like this big. Yeah. So let's see what, what it takes to put the plantation together for the spring. Uh, today is our uh, annual museum cleanup day. Uh, we have uh, 200 volunteers dedicating their uh, time and talents to volunteer here at the museum and support our educational mission. Uh, we have everyone doing projects such as setting up the villa English village, uh, raking and cleaning uh, on the native home site. Uh, we have people uh, getting the craft center ready uh, to have guests, uh, but really uh, they're dedicating their time to make sure we're ready for Poet Plantation 71st uh, opening season, which is next Saturday, March 17th. A lot of people uh, are in our English village today. Uh, a large group is uh, raking and picking up uh, our village gardens um, along with uh, along our pathways, especially from all of these storms that we've been having. There's a lot of uh, down branches and trees, so they're picking up a lot of uh, kind of the debris on the ground and sprucing up uh, some of our sites. Thankfully, we our volunteers are amazing um, and really uh, jump into really wherever they're needed. Uh, and a lot of people uh, today are outdoors, which thankfully we have a beautiful day and it's not too, too cold, um, but it's uh, really just uh, making sure that we uh, pick uh, the projects that they're really interested in doing uh, and they've done in the past. What do I like about coming here on cleanup day, which seems kind of crazy, but uh, it, I'm a descendant of the, as is my wife, of, of the Pilgrims. And uh, when we moved here uh, seven years ago, I started coming because Plymouth Plantation represents the history of this country and, and where this country began. And what I particularly like about Plymouth and why it's worth my time and energy, and my wife is here today too, uh, it, uh, Plymouth gives you the true story. We try to, they try not to whitewash it or pretend there's one side or another. Uh, without the Native Americans, we would never be here. Uh, and we also help the Native Americans in some ways. So uh, it, it is an institution for Plymouth that Plymouth is proud of. And uh, it is a, a, a really a treasure. What do I'm enjoying about today and, and the different projects we have to do and, and the work that needs to be done? Uh, really the most fun is meeting the hundreds of people who come here on this cleanup day and getting to know so many different uh, Plymouth citizens and their kids and uh, and then and then watching everybody kind of doing things that we may not really want to do but we know it's for a good cause so we do that and it's uh, it's just a, it's a community builder volunteering here is so worthwhile because it's such a gem in Plymouth it's it's like the crown jewel as far as I'm concerned and to be able to give my time and effort to this and I'm not even a Mayflower descendant I think especially for young people who don't really understand what it was like to be able to come here and see how their forefathers lived I've taken part in some cooking classes learning how to cook on the open fires and to do that and to then go home to my kitchen with the glass cooktop and the microwave and the dishwasher it's just it's such a a wake-up call and it's it's actually come come in handy a few times when we had the power failures this week i kind of wasn't af as afraid to deal with no electricity because i knew i could manage without it for a few days it's really impressive to see what's happening here today. A lot of um, people from all over the community are here. They're bringing their families here. You have children that have rakes and brooms in their hands. And, um, and, and it's overall just an incredible, um, it's an incredible day for just seeing how people are pulling together and, and making this museum um, the best that it can be. We, we maintain active um, friendships and, and cultivate relationships with, with volunteers over the year, and that all comes together with this cleanup event, as well as other events throughout the year. Um, it, it's a matter of, of us um, all just really coming together and, and um, working together to, to make this a success.
We just really appreciate our volunteer base so much. Um, they're really the backbone of this museum, and um, and you know we're we're so we're so happy to live in a community that cares so much about about Plymouth Plantation, and and we just want to thank them for all their work that they're doing here today.